Hello, everyone. My name is Yong Kang He. As you can see, I love AWS. I love Kubernetes. I'm seven times AWS certified, and I'm also fully certified on Kubernetes. Today's topic, how to just run one command in 18 minutes to automate a EKS 1.25 Kubernetes cluster on AWS. So I will give you a live demo to show you how to create a EKS cluster by the automation and then how to destroy the whole environment with just another command. If you don't have a AWS account, you can sign up a trial account. Here is a link on the screen. So a little bit of the preparation tasks. So first of all, you log into AWS console and then next to the search box, you can click uh, open cloud shell. Once you open cloud shell, you can clone the repository from a guitar page. It is publicly available. And then you can install the required tools and just run the command. You change to the directory, you run AWS prepper.sh command. And then optionally, you can customize the class name, the instance type, the region, zone, etc. but you don't have to. So the one magic command is called eks-deploy.sh. So behind of the scene, I fully automated the, the, all of these tasks listed here. So first of all, how to create an eks cluster from a command line. You don't have to deal with how to create the IAM rule for eks cluster, how to create an eks node IAM rule, how to create a control plane nodes, how to create a node group. And uh, after that, if you are running a state of application, you still need to enable CSI driver on EKS cluster and then deploy a sample database. All of these, I make it super simple. You just run one command. It will be fully automated. In about 18 minutes, it will be ready. And after, let me jump to the web console. So I got the web console open here. And uh, so a moment ago, I just click uh, this icon open up Cloud Shell. So the first command we're going to do is, let me actually open the my GitHub page. So from my GitHub page, you can see I pinned the six uh, repository here. Uh, for some other Kubernetes cluster, you can click a repository. So from all of the popular Kubernetes cluster you can find it here. EKS dash casa, that's the one we're going to uh, try today. So click this link and scroll down a little bit. You can see we already open Cloud Shield. The next command is we're going to clone the repository. So paste to the command line, press enter. So it'll only take a few seconds. And once you copy, clone the repository, you run the, the command to prepare the environment. Basically, you need to install the required tools like a EKS CTO, keep a CTO, Helm, etc. So paste this command, press enter. So shortly within a few seconds, the installation will be finished. And after the job are finished, we can come back the GitHub page. So I don't have to op customize my cluster name, etc. How to deploy EKS cluster, copy this command, EKS dash deploy, and then press enter, paste it here, press enter. So now we started to install uh, to create a Amazon EKS cluster, uh, starting from uh, create the IAM rules, create a control plane node, and then followed by create a node group, etc. After the cluster is ready, we're going to deploy the CSI drivers. So this step it does take uh, about uh, 18 minutes. So I'm going to I'll pause here and we will come back. All right, as you can see from the screen behind of the scene, after we kick off the command eks-deploy.sh, you will see we are actually using eks CTO to create the cluster. And there are two sequential tasks listed here. So first of all, we're going to create the cluster control plan here. And once the cluster control plan created successfully, we're going to create a managed node group. Okay, so the cluster still take a few more minutes to create. 
So while we're waiting, let me come back to the slide deck. So this is how we are going to create a EKS cluster wider automation. So once the cluster is ready, you can do whatever testing you want to do. And uh, just remember, after you've done your testing, you better to destroy, to clean up the environment unless you are going to run it in production. So with the EKS dash destroy .sh command, we're going to remove the whole EKS cluster, remove all the re relevant resources to avoid to be charged by AWS. Okay, just to include a few reference links here. So my automation source code are available from a GitHub page. Here is a link. So there is an official Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service documentation page also listed here. But if you really prefer to create the uh, EKS cluster from a web console, I also have a YouTube video to show you how to create a step-by-step -step, uh, from a AWS web console. It does take about 15 minutes, okay? So by now we just uh, resolved the day one uh, challenges, how to spin up a managed Kubernetes cluster from AWS. It does take about 18 to 20 minutes. But what about the, my day two challenges? So i give you some example. What about my backup? So how to backup the containers on EKS? How to secure my containers on EKS? So you, you might want to migrate the containers from all other region, other availability zones, or maybe from other cloud, or could be from on-premises to Amazon EKS. I do have quite a few links listed here. So the first one is how to enable the backup for containers uh, on EKS. Uh, here is a playlist, actually. You can use the same similar instructions to enable the container backups on EKS. I'm going to record another one to enable container backups on EKS. Uh, move down a little bit, how to secure the containers by Cloudcast. I have a video to talk about how to enable the uh, security scheme by Cloudcast. And the other link is about how to secure uh, EKS containers by the open source project Farco. It's the de facto cloud native threat detection engine. I have a YouTube video. Actually, it was a, a workshop I did earlier from AWS Community Day. So there is another link about the migration. So if you go to this link, it's a playlist on how to migrate from other Kubernetes, other cloud to EKS. So all of my AWS related uh, uh, videos are from this particular playlist, aws.youngtown.cloud. So let me check if the cluster is ready yet. Actually, the cluster is still not ready. And uh, right now, the control plane is already up running. We're building the main node group. Yeah, hopefully we'll be there shortly. Right, as you can see from the screen, if I scroll up a little bit, you can see after the node group created successfully, we are enabling the CSI driver. Yeah, this step is also pretty challenging. If you read the Amazon uh, EKS documentation, you will went, you, you will go lost. I'm pretty sure you will go, went lost and uh, I automated the how to enable the CSI driver on EKS cluster. It's a pretty simple. You just uh, part of my automation. I enable the CSI driver, and then after the CSI driver enabled, I deploy a sample database. Also part of the automation. Yeah, towards the bottom of the screen, you can see total time. This time uh, we take uh, eighteen minutes twenty four seconds. We already created the EKS cluster. We already have CSI driver enabled, and we also have the sample database deployed. So let me verify. If I do okay, get the node, you can see my node is just up running four minutes ago, and it is running 1.25.6. That's the latest version from our Amazon EKS. 
And if I get the namespace list, you can see not only how I have the system namespace, I also have the young dash PostgreSQL. That's the my sample database application I deployed and it is up running as well. If I check all the ports, you can see my PostgreSQL database is running as well. Uh, one of my uh, storage class, a part of the automation, I enabled the CSI driver and I also created a CSI uh, a storage class called EBS-SC. So that's the one I make it a default. Okay, if you want to check the system volume, so I got the PVC now created for the young dash PostgreSQL uh, application. Okay, I think uh, that's all I want to cover for now. We already have a EKS cluster ready, but I I already done my testing. Let's say I already finished my testing. I don't want to be charged by AWS, so I can go back to my GitHub page. I can copy another command, EKS-destroy, so I can clean up the whole environment, remove all the resources created as part of the automation to avoid a charge by AWS. So this step, you also take about a, uh, 10 minutes to destroy, to clean up the environment. So behind the scene, you can see we're going to delete node group first, and then delete the IAM rule, delete the service account, delete the IAM OIDC provider, finally delete the uh, cluster control plane node. So we're not going to wait this job to finish. Yeah. It will finish in about 10 minutes normally. So come back to my slide deck here. So that's pretty much all I want to cover for today. So how to use the automation to launch an Amazon EKS cluster in about 18 minutes. And once you've done your testing, you might be interested to explore the day two challenges, how to back up your containers on EKS how to secure containers on EKS, uh, how to migrate containers to EKS, etc. So thank you very much for watching. I hope uh, it is useful to you. Just a reminder, if you find it is useful to you, please do like and share this video. And please feel free to connect to me via any one of the links listed here. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day.